Hi, I am Amit Lunkard. In this video, we discuss the definition and mechanism of action of antimicrobial agents. Antimicrobial agents, which is a important class under topical agents. So let's begin with the definition of antimicrobials. Antimicrobial agents are the chemicals and their preparation which help in reducing or preventing infection due to microbes. Examples are hydrogen peroxides, iodine, sodium perborate, potassium permanganate. Now next is about mechanism of action. The mechanism of action of inorganic antimicrobial agents can be divided into three general categories and these are oxidation, halogenation and protein precipitation. These represent the primary chemical interactions or reactions that occur between the agent and microbial protein and results in the death of the microbe or inhibition of its growth. So you have to just remember that the inorganic compound reacts with the protein of microorganisms and due to that there is a death or inhibition of the growth of microorganism. Now we discuss one by one. First is about oxidation. The compounds which are produce the antimicrobial action by oxidation mechanisms are generally non-metals and certain types of anions. Most common among these are hydrogen peroxides, metal peroxides, permanganates, halogens and certain oxohalogen anions. The effective oxidative action of these compounds involves the reducing groups present in most proteins, example the sulfhydryl group in cysteine. This causes a change in the conformation of the protein and thereby alters its function. A free sulfhydryl group has been essential for functioning of a variety of protein and enzymes. This free nature of sulfhydryl group gets destroyed by oxidation and resulting into a formation of a disulfide bond. Here is the action of oxidizing agents on protein containing sulfhydryl group. So this is the protein before oxidation showing the presence of a free sulfhydryl group whereas after oxidation showing the formation of a disulfide bridge between two SH group. Now next one is the halogenation. The compounds which are able to liberate chlorine or hypochlorite or iodine act by this mechanism. This category of agents act on peptide linkage and alter its potential and property. The destruction of specific function of protein causes death of microorganisms. Most of the enzymes are proteinous in nature. A protein molecule is composed of a variety of amino acids connected through a peptide linkage. As hypochlorides are found to chlorinate peptide linkage, antiseptics having hypohalite functional groups exert their antimicrobial activity by chlorination of peptide linkage in protein molecule. Here is the reaction in which there is a the substitution of chlorine atom on the nitrogen of peptide linkage causes a change in hydrogen bonding forces responsible for proper orientation of the protein molecule. Here is the peptide linkage and with the help of this hypochlorite there is a chlorination will occur and due to which it will change the orientation of protein. Hence the function of protein cannot be carried out. Next one is the protein precipitation. Many metal ions exhibit protein binding or protein precipitation. The nature of interaction with protein takes place through polar group of protein which acts as a ligand 
and metal ions as Lewis acid. The complex form may be strong chelate giving rise to inactivation of protein. This, this action in general is non-specific because the protein precipitants are not able to distinguish the protein of microorganism and that of the host. Germicidal action results when the concentration of iron becomes such that reaction get restricted largely to the parasite cell. Depending upon the concentration used and the extent of reaction, it produces different actions like astringent, irritant, corrosive or even caustic action has been observed on the host. Here is the formation of chelates in which these SH and NH groups which are acts as a polar groups and this metal ions which acts as a Lewis acid and there is a formation of a chelate of this protein. Here is a few examples of antimicrobial agents with its mechanism of action. The antimicrobial agents like potassium permanganate, hydrogen peroxide which produce their antimicrobial action by oxidation mechanism whereas chlorinated lime iodine produce their antimicrobial action by halogenation mechanism and silver nitrate, potash alum, zinc sulfate produce their antimicrobial action by protein precipitation. So here we discuss the definition as well as mechanism of action of antimicrobial agents with examples. Hope all of you getting. Thank you and happy learning.